Oh, earlier, someone popped off. Do you know yeah. what happened? Three, no. Two, oh, someone yelled. They were like, yeah, let's go. That uh, was uh, Wise popping off on Helper. It was uh, last hit game three. Oh, my God. And now look at him in grand finals. On the winner's side, no doubt. But, yeah. you know, Wise just has to win one set. Best of three. John has to win four games. Yeah. John is not letting him. Oh, my goodness. Now here's, will we see, will Wise press his advantage? Or will he kind of stay back here? And it's looking like he's staying back. No, opting for these keys at these early percents. And it's a little bit scary, you know? you think you'd go Gal Galaga. But no. now because, ooh. You just, just want that damage. Mm. A patient grab coming out, but John got that tech roll away. Very nice pressure there with the forward airs. And you know, we're just hanging back now, getting the Galaga. Maybe starting to see that pressure of the soccer ball a little bit more. Ooh, wow. No, he actually had the bell. I missed it. Oh, oh, did he just try to ledge Trump bell him? That was crazy. Wise has those moves. Yeah. And he's oh doing my a great God, job not the melon. Yeah, he's doing a great job of pushing his advantage, but John just drifting out of the way using that trampoline to doesn't, stall. Doesn't feel like Wise's raw forward smashes are going to be very helpful here, but it can catch John by surprise. There was one right there, as you said it, and it didn't catch John by surprise. Like, if there's one person who's not going to get hit by the odd forward smash, it might be John number Well, no, so here's the thing. Wise had the right call out because that would have uh, hit any other character that rolled off the stage. But we the trainer has one of the longest rolls in the game, mm. so you have to adjust yourself for that. You have to hang back like almost center stage. It's like little to the right there to catch a roll from Ledge from Refit. Right, and now we'll see if he's able to adjust. These are the little things that matter a lot. So, you know, you know, fool me once, shame on you, but if he gets the adjustment, that could be a stock. Fool me twice, okay, that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, even stocks. Not a lot of extra credit here, 11.8%. No. And Key in hand. Uh, I was hoping for a little more shenanigans to go down with that. But. Hey, he's got plenty of copies. Yeah. <laughs> he went to Home Depot yesterday and just got like him in bulk. Yeah. Hey, can you print one of these for me, man? Oh. Make that a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> one if he more. runs out, though, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a pack run without a key. I'll have five keys and five more keys. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming, sir. I think you've had enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough keys. Yeah. <laughs> and he's trying to find the keys to be in John Numbers here. And oh, oh, I'm sorry. That forward tilt clanked with the key. Did not know that that was actually strong enough to do so. Yeah, and he knew that that fire hydrant was just going to roll off that platform over his head. Cool and collected. That's how John Numbers likes to be. All right, pressuring down with the down, the down air. Ooh. Again, you have to be ready for that roll. It is longer than most characters. Yeah, John said, screw it. I'm going to smash too. This is what we're doing? All right. Uh-oh, here we go. The patient's behind the fire hydrant. John has deep breathing, so he gets he's going to get a little bit more aggressive. But he still has the, fire, or the bell in hand. All right. Oh. No! All right, John, unfortunately, not teching that. It was a technical situation, but wasn't thinking that that was going to hit him. Wise, pressing his advantage, trying to go for anything to end the stock quickly. And so many games are being determined here on missed techs. You know, go Something home, everyone. Air. Practice your techs. <laughs> I don't know how, yeah. but just figure it out. Keeping him off ledge with this fire hydrant. And the minute it's gone off stage, another one is coming out. Oh, a crazy. No! Oh! You can't land there. You can't. It's red. So that was actually, if we can go back to that last talk, that's actually something that Wise was trying to set up a little earlier with it. Mm -hmm. So if we see here, and he goes in, but he sets up the trampoline, and he does one bounce. The ball. Oh, the ball, actually. The ball hit it. We go back, like, what, three seconds, and goes in, lands, and then the soccer ball actually lands on it and seals the first one, turning it into yellow. Yeah, and it doesn't wow. land on it again because he hits it away with his upbeat. Otherwise, it would have canceled it. That's crazy. So really, the soccer ball is the one to kill John, a and first. My favorite part about John numbers losing is the music pick is always a lead. Always a banger. Always. If you guys have not played Persona 3, that's OK. You can play it now. It, yeah. they, they just had a remake. <laughs> Lots of quality of life stuff, but no OG soundtrack. Shame on you, Atlas. Yeah, and Wise looking to turn a two-hour set here into a 15-minute set with a win. John caught that. John caught the key. <laughs> That's so fast. Hey, with that reaction time, I don't know. Sign him up for something. <laughs> this music is just so high. Oh! Sign him up for the NBA because he's got those dunks. Yeah. 
Dolphin. Yeah, he did his yoga this morning for sure. Ah, uh, this explains why he's a Dolphin main in Street Fighter 6. Yeah. Oh! Oh, he was going for something a little tricky there. Couldn't find it. Well, he is up one game. Might as well. Yeah. He it said, is a tournament point, though. I'm on stream. Let me go for the clip. Look, Ma. No stocks. Yeah. I'm down a stock. <laughs> you know the vibes. Yeah. And you just know he's waiting to use that key behind the hydrant. And John said, enough. You eat the sun. You know, I don't care. You could hide back there all day long, but you're going to have to deal with this. Unfortunately, couldn't re-catch the melon there. Mm. Wise trying to go off stage, And, you know, trying to edge guard against John Numbers is no easy task. And we saw him switch to disadvantage there because of it. And there we go. He's finally adjusted. John is going to have to remember that. Wise has now readjusted the roll of timing. Yeah, and man, the way he's throwing out F-Smashes makes me want to try throwing out some of my own. But when I do it, I get punished. <laughs> Look, Wise is just built different. Yeah. He's wise. He put it all in intelligence. He's got John Numbers acting unwise. That's okay. We, we put our stats in charisma. We're yeah. doing just as well. <laughs> that, that's right. That's right. Oh, these hydrant setups are, apply so much pressure so quick on something. Oh. Oh. You know what else applies pressure quick? The, the sun. sun. Oh, oh, missed it again. Again, this muscle memory is coming back to bite wise. Yeah, these long rolls are actually making a huge difference. Once more, soccer ball trying to pressure wise in the air, forcing him to come down. And the frame traps coming out from John are disgusting. And wise is like preying on these reads with these F smashes, and it's making me nervous. So, John, I mean, has been super comfortable actually just rolling on in because, again, wise up until like the last like forward smash hasn't been able to read how long he can roll. Mm. But now John, John has a good item to play. Yeah, John, oh, he decides to just throw it away, but he literally stopped what he was doing and dashed backwards just to grab that. <laughs> oh, and opting for the down throw to get that invincibility so the Hydra didn't hit him. Pretty big, pretty big brain. Yeah, you saw that Hydra actually hit him about four times. Mm. And he's like, nope, I'm invincible. Yeah. Can't do that. Oh! Just like he can't recover that low and that predictably, John taking us to a game three. Now that yeah. was a great and man, out. you got double dunked that game. Get him a pack of Dunkaroos. Mmm, Dunkaroos, mm. an underrated snack. So yeah. we see Wise banning Town and City and PS2. And I think in this situation, Kalos, I would say, object. Oh, he's thinking really hard. No, no, sorry, John banned Town John, City yeah, and PS2. Yeah, yeah. So why, why is he thinking hard? Callus. Don't choose Kalos. No, FD, FD is a great choice. It's forcing. There aren't a lot of platforms to land on, so right. John can pressure that. Right. And it's a predictable recovery every time for Weep the Trainer. Mm. But of course, same thing can go for Pac Man. Right. But you do have plenty of flat space to control, just like the Pioneers of Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, Nebra the Nebraska stage. You can see as far as the eye can. Just flat land everywhere. Yeah, just uh, don't go where that darkness is. Yeah. That's Iowa. Yeah. We don't go there. That's Ohio. <laughs> no. no, Ohio's a little further away. Yeah. That, that's the that's the horizon in the, yeah. over there. And... Oh. Just opting to throw these keys out when it seems like a pretty... Like, John's going to react to these key throws. I wonder what the idea is by throwing them out there. I think the idea is that he's throwing it just for pressure to keep John from actually building up that sun salutation in the deep breathing. Mm. He does have the sun. Yeah. And you know, it is good pressure for to see, like, okay, I can throw this out and it's going to force you to do something. Yeah. Right? We, so, like, right there he landed, he teched, but throwing out the keys, like, do you are going to tech in place? Are you going to go right? Are you going to go left? Because if you go right, it'll hit. If you stay in place, you're forced to stay there mm. and I can react to something. Yeah. But rolling in would be kind of the risky thing. Yeah. And Wise is playing a hard read game right now. We just saw him grab his Galaga and stand still, waiting for John's num John Numbers' option, and then get a huge punish off of it. That was that was something else. That's usually how I play Galaga too, but then I lose. I don't <laughs> yeah. know why. Yeah. yeah, how come when they do it, it works, and when I do it, I die? You know what? I guess Galaga just ain't for me. Yeah. Really jump up, empty, empty air dodge, but gets punished. John Deep. running to the other side. Deep breathing back air is like getting hit by a Mack truck. 
Oh, oh, a parry on the bell. And, but now he has it in hand, so some shenanigans can ensue. Goes for what looked like maybe a ledge trump there. Didn't get it. Keeping the bell in hand, threatening John. Oh, drops it. No, but he's trying to go for instead is John does like to drop and do an up there if you're pressuring on ledge. Mm. So he was setting up the trampoline for John to maybe have another situation where he just drops. Uh, the Y is being very tricky. If it's not going to work, maybe it'll work it a little later. Oh! Finally learning that that long roll cannot withstand a down smash. He had every option covered. Every option. If you jump, you get hit by a fire hydrant. If you do literally, if you get up attack, I'm hitting you. I mean, if you drop down, I'm pretty sure you still get hit by that fire hydrant. That was a disgusting setup. And John answering back in kind. It has deep breathing, has sun salutation. This is a powered up Weefit trainer. And the nice no air dodge that sun. Fortunately, recovering a little too high. Thinking that Wise is maybe going to go down and pressure off stage. Yeah, and forced to play around his own hydrant there and right into the hands of John Numbers. To the loving arms. <laughs> They're not very long arms. <laughs> Come on. Just let John Numbers give you a grab. Give hug. Yeah. Oh. And these down airs coming out neutral, trying to stuff out John's jumps ahead of time are, are kind of working out. You know, they're hitting a shield sometimes, but minimally punished for them for sure. It's a pretty safe option once you're out of shield or being like, hey, I can fade forward, I can fade back, cross up, whatever you need. Oh. Everybody forgets that Pac-Man does have a little crouch walk. Yeah. What yeah. else are the feats he's for? <laughs> oh, and that long roll. I feel like he was reading the roll there and just not getting it. All right, dangerous situation. Using the double jump. Just stalling for time. Oh my gosh. Oh my that gosh. That Soccer Ball just, oh, oh, just went by his man. head. That was death. Uh, I mean, and John gets a kill anyway, but if he got the kill like that, oh my goodness, that would have been disgusting. It always feels bad to lose to the Soccer Ball. Mm. It's yeah. like if uh, you're playing Ice Climbers and uh, Popo just throws Nana halfway across the stage. Yeah. That's just dead weight right there. <laughs> yeah, it's literally another character. Mind of its own. John Messi numbers. Oh, Messi up. <laughs> and Wise over here trying to just establish control, has the bell in hand. Yeah, definitely looking like a numbers-sided game as he's only at 85. Wise throwing out everything he can to get this stock, but a patient John is punishing him for it. And John knows that he just has to maintain this lead. Not going to time him out. And the bell stunning the wrong one. Stun Nana, or stun Nana. Yeah, Nana, yeah, Nana. yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do we see here? No forward tilt. Nice little jab for a neutral getup. Uh-oh, I thought he was about to hit that again. Oh my gosh, no. she's so deep. Okay, that was almost death. Oh. No way. Oh my god, oh. oh my god! Just went back and Weiss can totally take this. Just has to play immaculately. And that was an awesome roll read. And what? Oh, the deep breathing. Teleported him to the top of the stage. Good like gracious. Didn't Wait. even give us a hint of a, of a death spark or anything. Nope, and John has reset the brackets, taking us to true finals. Doesn't matter. John Numbers can end up in losers in the first round, and he'll still climb all the way to grand finals. He's insane. He's at his house. He's home. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that killed. That fire hydrant setup was insane for that second stock, too. Or the first stock, I think. If that soccer ball hit, that would have been nuts. That would have been disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Anyway, there we go. So deep. I mean, that's what he needed to do. He got one stock. Oh my god. All right, the soccer ball, he thought that was actually... Ooh. Yeah. yeah. No, he's got that roll distance on lock now, so John has to be very careful from rolling back on stage or just rolling anywhere in a panic. And we're going back to Final Destination. True finals right here yeah. at Xeno 330. I'm surprised John let the counter pick go back to Final Destination where he just lost. Or no, no he, he won. won. Oh, he won. Why you're not? Right. Yeah, no, no. You're so right. <laughs> Why doesn't have lyrics? <laughs> I agree. Such a good song. I agree. You know what? It's okay. Weiss can say uh, that this uh, game didn't count. He can complain about it. Is there... You think John practices Galago We Fit combos in his free time? Has to. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No! Uh -oh. Yeah, oh, John stole the jump! That was beautiful. Yeah. But we saw that one time uh, with Weiss as well against another player where they actually hit the power pellet, forcing Weiss to actually recover much lower. And then stealing the jump pad for... Damn. 
Oh, I, I love this song. This I such agree, a good song. Devin. I feel like lyrics in during Smash games is a, it's a bit much. Only if we can't sing like along to it. I feel like the song in general would still be better without. The yeah. I don't, I don't like oh, good it. tech. Really tech. Oh, the down smash! <laughs> oh, God because damn. the trampoline was just too close. It's like, all right. Yeah, he, he knows his options. Back. And the only option here is yeah. next game. Yeah. Go next. Yeah. GGs, go next. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, uh, didn't get the berry. I thought we were about to see something disgusting. Right here, the melon. Actually, oh, jumping over the melon oh! into the dunk. This is John Numbers Fire Hydrant. You can't park there. You yeah. can't. Please, Good gracious. Do not collect 160. Yeah. You give me 160, yeah. which is how much a parking ticket is here. <laughs> Find parking. Pay for parking. You don't want a ticket. Why is just throwing these fire hydrants down? And somehow, John is just throwing it back at him before Wise even has a so chance. We, so we do have a change of stage. We're going Hollow Bastion instead. Oh. And I think this is a pretty wise choice. It looks like the <laughs> flat uh, is not helping out. We want just a little bit of platform to maybe set things up here with the fire hydrants. Yeah. Change of pace. Looking for a bit more space, you know, a bit more places to land, extend your combos, your forward air combos, and hope that you can use this better than John can. And right here, seeing a really good momentum shift. Oh, going deep. And resetting the jump pad so John uh -oh. did not have an option to land on it. John being really smart, they're actually using an up air to stop the jump pad from losing his momentum. Because if you do do a neutral getup, it will actually stall you. Mm. And he actually, John air dodging away there, you think that Wise would have some way to punish like that off stage we fit, but like you literally just can't do it. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Yeah, salute. We salute we you, John. Salute you, son. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Absolve you of your sins. <laughs> <laughs> and is he looking to stuff out uh, that side B with his hula hoops? It kind of looked like that's what the goal was there. It has been actually working off stage just yeah. to get rid of the power pellet because anything that like collides with that, and the power pellet will drop. But you know what? Wise is not dropping these forward smashes. Not this game. He was just he was just charging the sun. He thought he was safe, but Wise. Wisely throws out his like 30th F smash in the past three games and lands his 29th F smash. That Galaga actually ate the sun. It wasn't fully charged, so he's actually able to, you know, go through it and be safe. He can approach John. Oh my gosh. And that Z drop there leading into, he knew he had no options and was able to go off stage for that back air, but it was not enough to kill, and Wise gets a neutral reset. Setting up house, doesn't jump, just crouching under the sun. And John very happy to just hold on to that key, start item play of his own. Yeah, I'm surprised he opted for the I, key there instead of the Galaga. I, I really want to point out that those past like four interactions was like the most inverse Pac-Man thing ever. Normally you think, oh, uh-oh, I got to get away from Pac-Man on the Hydrant. But like Wii Fit's on the Hydrant. Pac-Man's <laughs> like, I got to get out of here. Wii Fit's on the Hydrant. And then throws the key and Wii Fit picks it up. It's like, uh-oh, Wii Fit has the key. It's like, what character, what is happening right now? Look, this is the reason why John made that video for item play. Yeah. He knows this. John he knows what literally to do. playing Pac-Man. Yeah. Why doesn't John fit. play Pac-Man? Well, okay, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't put any ideas in his head. We we told him so many times to play weirdo characters. He's like, We Fit Trainer is the only weirdo for me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's just like John Numbers is using everything against Wise. Anything Wise is throwing out. Any fire, fire hydrant he's placing down, John has a setup for it. Oh my oh. god, trying to follow there with the momentum of the water. That F smash almost took his stock at 60. Unfortunately, not the sweet spot there. Has oh. to get back. Forced to get back. Ooh, oh. really good air dodge, avoiding the power pellets. Oh no. Just like that. Can't get a back air. Still even stocks here. Yeah, and John's not afraid to eat that hydrant off stage. It's just sending him upwards and making his recovery a little bit easier. Yeah, you take the damage, but he's confident. No, that's oh, it. Oh, no, he takes it. Oh, my God. He used the trampoline to make it back. And he so good. Just beat him out on that trampoline. And Devin, there's another instance of John using Pac-Man's items. Oh, this no. This is just Wii Fit Trainer Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pac-Fit. Pac -Fit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> back fit trainer. Yeah, there we go. And oh, oh my god, there has to be a mod for that. Oh, the back air is not that enough, and terrifying. Wise has to do something quickly because if he loses this game, no. he loses finals. Oh, there we go. 
Air Dodge is back, looking to take this to a game three, but just has to hold center stage. Climbing all the way to the top of the map. You're not safe there. Uh -oh. oh, no. No tech. In disadvantage. I oh. Gets right. back to stage. The trailer is around. so fast. Mm, absolutely. And finally, we're seeing some good hits with a Hydra and keeping John off stage with it. You know, making sure it's his. Why is playing a little flustered? This is unfortunately what happens when you know that this is possibly your last game. John can afford to lose it. Oh. And you can see why just holding back. Right. Getting a little impatient there and almost got punished for it when he knows I should probably just stay on stage. No. Uh -oh. Got hit by the soccer ball. That Avoids the punish. Uh oh. All right, but no sun salutation. Can't you do, do that on shield. Out of shield options. Oh, this is looking bad. Going deep. Uh oh. No. No. No! Oh. And John takes the 2 0 after a bracket reset. Your Zeno 330 champ right here with a trampoline twice in one game. Yeah, making a deep loser's run, stealing the hydrant, stealing the items, stealing that up, up B jump pad. It's all looking we fit. It feels like Wise just didn't have an answer to anything that was thrown back at him. Yeah. And it's like, these are all of my tools and I can use them. And we saw Wise win game one in this, in this, in these two sets. In the first set, game one, Wise won. He, he did everything right. And John just absolutely getting the download, making sure that wasn't going to happen again, getting a good stage counter pick and then keeping advantage the whole time. Remembered his one, <laughs> two. And then, then getting that third one, uh, because uh, on the fourth one, you're going to just be in free fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah absolutely. having the constant wherewithal to just like, no, if, like, if Pac-Man is recovering low, then like, if it's, if you know where, like, if it's low enough where he has to do uh, the third jump, then right. like, low. you always one, need to, two, always need to go three, for Three, four, done. Yeah. And that's I, just, I mean, there's just so many saying, moments. Kill me. Me. <laughs> End me. It's a free stock. It's a free tournament. <laughs> anyway, nothing is the free stock here. It's no. free. It's free real estate. <laughs> hey, slaps hey. it. It's free real estate. <laughs> and this trampoline can take so many stocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> including my own. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a reason. Hey, this is fault for buying a Subaru. Anyway, and tag the Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was Zeno three thirty. If we could see top A, we'd love to see the uh, yeah, fight that John had cool. to like get through to get to this point. <gasps> no, absolutely. not updated. Uh, no, let me. Yeah, huh. uh, John two O to be smart. Yes, yes, yes he did. Yep. It got then, very close in the last close. game. Game that, two, that, that, that's close. close. Game one, kind of a blowout. Obese fart almost brought it back. Game two, it was close. And that's yeah. what I mean. I think if Obese fart took that to game three, I think that would have been like a fight to the finish. Yeah. But you know what, John numbers. Being your champ this week, why is coming in a very respectable second? Mm -hmm. It is very frustrating once you do get like that first game off and you're just like, one more, one yeah. more. And Dumpling King actually took a game off John Numbers in Loser's Top 6, so that could have made for a very interesting storyline. I do want to know if that was either Ganondorf or Bowser. I'm going to, my head cannon, well, it was you Ganon. know, well, Same. you can always check the VODs because all of Top 16 and probably nearly all the pools were recorded. Yay. That's right, you too. House of 3000, don't miss it. Yes, all of your VODs, all of your VODs. If you play a character, odds are we have a good player and there's a VOD of it. Yeah, Is there? if there's nothing to watch this weekend on Netflix, nothing to watch on HBO Max, yeah. and nothing to do, your wife is cold, your children don't respect you, you know what, you always have wow. House of 3000 VODs. Absolutely. Yeah. They're there for you. Absolutely. Just like we are every single week, right here at Xeno Weeklies. Every single Wednesday, Venues 8, Entry is 7, and you can follow for all the updates at Devon3000 on Twitter and also House of 3000 on Blue Sky. And you can always watch right here where you are watching right now at House of 3000 on Twitch. But, you know, if you do think you need to kind of level up your game a bit, need some more friendlies, come on down to Bombs every single Monday, 7 p.m., right here, same venue in the heart of Chinatown, no pools, 64 player cap, and only $10. So, you know what? Skip lunch. Come here instead. Yeah, absolutely. Level Skip up. Skip lunch and then order from Zeno's restaurant. Yeah. That's right. You have never had better Kung Pao chicken than here. Actually, yeah. Uh, Zeno's restaurant's actually pretty lit. Yeah, and for a good yeah. price, too. Yeah. But you know what? An even a better price of admission. Zeno Saga this Saturday, February 10th. Same venue. Heart of Chinatown. Be sure to get here early. Get some delicious, delicious dumplings. Maybe some mooncakes for mm. Chinese New Year. Mm. But this is Zeno Saga 51. You don't want to miss it. The best of the best are coming out. 
And it's always a good time when you have a Xenosaga. Around 100 entrants every time. Maybe a little less, but we don't know. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't come to Xenosaga, I'm going to Ganon Wizard kick you. Hey, you know what? I'm expecting that next week from you. Yep, We're going to face each other in bracket, and you're going to be like, Wizard kick absolutely. on startup. Absolutely. But we do have to give a shout out to House of 3000 for always running a phenomenal event. They are the premier production for a reason. If you ever want any sort of event that uh, you're running to have, production of the highest quality, be sure to hire them at events at houseof3000.nyc. You can always follow them at all the socials over there on the left. Yeah, if you've seen a Smash Major, there's a very real chance it was us. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. you guys did Let's Make Big Moves here in New York City? Yes, we did. Oh my god, Three what's next? And two. Yeah. Oh. Uh, next up for us is Full Bloom in two, in two weeks. Ooh. And then two weeks after that, it'll be Collision. Oh. And then three weeks after that, it'll be CT GamerCon. Huh? All right, so guys, be sure to check out all those events and collide with Peak Production. Yeah, everybody say thank you, Devin. <laughs> thank you, Devin. <laughs> thank you, Devin. Okay. <laughs> but no, seriously, it is always such a pleasure to cast here at Xeno. It's a real privilege, just like it is a privilege to be here every week into your homes, blasting through the Twitch. But honestly, wouldn't be here without you guys. The players, production, you, me, my parents. It's always a good time. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. Adios. <laughs>